Yeah. Okay, guys. Welcome to episode 8, where we take on Hydro City Zone. My favorite water level, as I've spoken multiple times. It is water done right. Only this time. <clears throat> and for the record, the rest of this after this will be a blind playthrough. Everything should be working just fine the way I intended it. And we should be good to go. <clears throat> it's not the way I wanted to begin with, but hey. I tried. I hope you can at least appreciate that. If not, well then, thanks for watching anyway. I still appreciate the fact that you clicked on the video. So, as you can already tell, Hydro City is a lot different. And it is! It is insanely different. Even for the first act, but... Is it good? Because just because it's different doesn't always mean it's good. Yeah, I'd say so! The music's really nice, it looks really... F it plays really, really fun. It's just really... it's just all around really, really cool. The changes are really, really nice. The ability to lower the water level and these little boat things are really, really cool. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Aquatic Ruin, in a way. With the ability to change the water level. But it's just, it's really fun. It's really well done. Oh, yeah, I guess that's one of the things that can trap you in a bubble. If you're underwater. Yeah, so there's a gimmick that puts you in a bubble if you're underwater. No offense, but I thought it was kind of dumb. Like, okay, look. It's not a lot for me to do. I kind of have to basically wait for these uh, propellers to push me wherever I want to go. Which, yeah, okay, it's kind of funny, but it makes for slowing the game. It slows the game down. And I... I'm all for platforming in my Sonic games, but I like platforming to be fun and fast and engaging and having to make me think split-second decisions. You're sticking me in a bubble and making me float up and down. Redo! But yeah, it's just kind of weird. Like, that's not the first time I've done the two. In fact, I can recall a few different Sonic games, not names off the top of my head, but I, it's not the first time they've stuck you in a bubble. In fact, didn't they do it for Sonic Pocket Adventure, I think? I don't know, I might be wrong on that one. But I'm pretty sure they did. So yeah, this game is just a blast to play. You need to pick it up and you're doing yourself a disservice as both a Sonic fan and a casual gamer to just not have this in your library. This is this is a true return to form for Sonic. If you don't have this already, you need to pick it up. Just the way it looks alone should be signal enough to tell you that this is a game made with love and care. And the ability to drown tails is hurt either. Just need some rings. Got some rings, we're good. Just need some oxygen. Cool. I think we got this. Just kind of sucks that we can't find another giant ring. I'm sure we'll find one at some point. Come on, go down, get caught in the current. 
Don't hit the spike fish. Rise up. Go down. That doesn't hurt you. I saw an egg man. So we've made it to the halfway point for act one. I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Don't worry, we'll find giant rings eventually. But yeah. What are you doing? Hey, stop that. Hey, I need those. Hey! Damn it, Eggman. You drowned Tails, and now you're dropping a friggin' aquatic ruin on me. This isn't... The, this isn't cool. I'm gonna need you to stop. You're doing me in emotional distress. Hedgehogs can't do emotional distress. Ooh, that was close. Hey, look at that. So yeah, the boss fight for this one is really different. We're literally playing as Eggman from Sonic 3. And it's actually really, really easy to take care of him. You don't even need to worry about the bombs, really. They don't do anything for you. Look, I picked one up, didn't do anything. You destroyed Eggman stuff, though. I wonder if you could drop seismic charges, but I never tried. But with that, we've taken care of Act 1, and we're going to move on straight in Act 2. Oh, that remix just sounds so cool just from right from the start. It sounds so fateful. I got this. Okay, maybe I don't got this. Now I got this. Nope. Nope. We're gonna go up here. Nope. Hey, look, a hand. Yeah, we're gonna take that. God, the sense of speed in this level is just beyond amazing. Oh, well, that wasn't fun. Of course, the sense of speed needs to, you know, have you actually moving at speed. Ooh, thank you, Spikes. Hey, I recognize this part from the original one. Kinda. Get a bubble shield. What did I do? What did I do? Avoid the spikes. And move as fast as you can. Oh, this is so fun. This makes me feel like I'm friggin' five again. I saw that. I see that. That I can't get into. Oh, that sucks. Well, we got good to that one. All we need to do is find one giant ring. Which I'm sure we'll do, but it's just like... The waiting, the anticipation kind of sucks. Ooh, you gotta be careful there. There's a glitch that you can get on there that I encountered. If you go too fast, 
the game will stick you literally right in that area, right next to the um, little hole where the platformer sends through, and it'll act you. It'll act like you're stuck on the platform, but you're really not. And it won't let you move, and you have to restart the game, and it's just ugh. Run as fast as you can. And go that way. And then run up this way. And then get the spring that'll launch, or get the invincibility that'll launch you with the spring. And go this way! And we're gonna run up. And then we're gonna, ah, see, there it is, I saw it. I saw it, you saw it too. See, it's right there. Now we just have to get... Oof. Oof. I was a little bit ballsy for my taste. Ooh, crap. And it did not get me rail rewarded. Jesus Christ. Okay, that helped. Oi. I just need to catch up with that thing. Just let me catch up with it, just... See? Now I just need to catch up. Oof. That almost ended horribly. Come on. Come on, you will be mine. No, no getting away. No. 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 Getting. Away. Finally. Cool, we got the fourth Chaos Emerald. Three more to go. Let's see, can we? We can! Oi! That was close. That wasn't smart. That also wasn't smart. What do the blue rings mean? I don't know, but at least we got that last cast several. That was fun. And now we move on... I'm pretty sure to the boss fight, which is really close. This is interesting. I'm pretty sure the boss fight is like right around the corner. Yep, right down here. Hey, 
Hey, that don't look familiar, does it? That looks a little familiar. You might recognize it from the last game we played. Then again, you might not. I don't know. Looks really familiar, though. At least to me. Are you sure we haven't seen it somewhere? I don't know, man. I feel like we've seen that. It's a really familiar egg mobile. Was it chemical plant zone? Nah. Was it, uh... I don't know, was it from Sonic Spinball? Nah. Ooh, I got it. it it's the Death Egg boss, right? That's what it was. No. That's not it either. What is it? Maybe this will help jog my memory. Oh, yeah. I remember. This was originally a robot. That Eggman has now apparently converted into a mech suit. Which... Cool. I guess. But now you can clearly see it's actually got four rockets. I always thought it only had two. Hey, cool. Look at that. Actually cleared the jump. And now we just took it out. And that was the final boss for Hydra City Zone Act 2. I hope you enjoyed watching this Let's Play. And I hope to see you when we tackle whatever's next. Until then, see ya. This is Nobody. Peace out.